right, on this Throwback Thursday, one of the many living legends yes. who were in the walls of this uh, building, uh, he ends up sharing how he became a professional and premier storyteller. So, Raphael. Clyde Lee, yeah. amazing dude, my mentor and friend, is among the elite journalists who, of course, brought you the news right here from Studio A for many, many years. He loves to pilot planes, and we learned by talking to him how his eyesight made, led to a career change, which eventually led him right here to WHART TV. A lot bad outside, a little bit chilly. Yeah, a little bit chilly. During this series, we're going to be talking about... The man with the presence and poise to tell stories as an eyewitness to history had other dreams before a career in television news. Clyde Lee wanted to pilot military jets. I wanted the military to teach me how to fly. And then when I did my tour of duty, I wanted to fly for American Airlines, TWA, any of them. But um, I got a big wrench thrown in my way, which my dad told me I was going to have, but I didn't want to believe it. I'm colorblind. Because Clyde was colorblind, flying for the Air Force was not an option. So he returned to school and reached new heights. Welcome to the top of the Indiana National Bank Tower. As a television reporter and anchor, eventually working alongside legends like Howard Caldwell, Tom Carnegie, Barbara Boyd, and Dion Willis. He did get a pilot's license and flew a plane that he owned for six years. Clyde often flew with his daughter to Muncie on Sunday mornings to get breakfast. And while at WRTV, he also shared the stories of America's best aviators. Even though I couldn't fly for the military, it gave me a great sense to be a part of America's uh, flying history. You know, the guys who fly for a living, the guys who fly military and I just respect him so much. And before you know it, you're climbing up a narrow ladder of the A-4 Skyhawk. And one of his best memories, the chance to pilot a military jet. Yeah, I have a pilot, he says, you got it. I said, I got it, he says, you fly the plane. I said, what can I do? He said, you can do anything you want. I said, barrel roll, yeah. He said, you know, I flew it for about 20 minutes. And so once we came back into our spot where we took off, you know, the canopy went up and um, I just started crying because I should have been doing that. Makes me cry now because it was such an incredible thing that I got to do, but not all the way. If I know then what I know now, I probably would have regretted not being in the news business because of the people you work with, number one, undoubtedly. The stories you get to do, the access you have, we all have, you know, that other people don't have. So that's, yeah, it's a fantastic thing. Remember that team, a great team, a great guy who just a few days ago celebrated a birthday, young at heart for me, as yeah. always, a pro. I've learned so much from him, but hearing that story about him being colorblind right. was something I'd never heard before. Yeah, I didn't know that about him, and obviously you know him a lot better than I do. I've just met him at different functions, you know, and him coming back in uh, to the building. But it's great to see, you know, the softer side of people, too. You Absolutely. Know? You, you see us, you know, here sitting on the couch, or you and Megan at the desk, but you don't see us all the time outside of work and the softer side of things and what some of our passions are, and so you saw what Clyde was, so that was great. So if you're talking about Todd Clausen, of course, we'll do a story about him in a couple of years. <laughs> You'll see him uh, on mountain tops around the world and on his bicycle. On uh, my bicycle. But not today. It's kind of humid. You know, to be on you'll, you'll, you'll work up a sweat if you're going to be <laughs> out and about throughout the day today. There's no doubt about it.